Hey everyone, welcome here to the Greensboro Science Center. My name is Allison, I'm with the education team here. And one of the coolest things that we have at the Science Center are our sharks. In fact, I love our sharks. But today I wanted to talk about the thing that everybody thinks of when they think about sharks, and that's their teeth. Right? We always think about those terrifying teeth. Well, shark teeth are actually pretty amazing. Now, they don't have hands. They can't use a fork and a knife to cut up their food, so instead they use their teeth. So I have a couple of teeth here to show you all today. All right, this first jaw that I'm gonna show everyone is from a really big shark. Now, this is not one that we have here at the Greensboro Science Center. This is from a bull shark. Now, bull sharks have really neat teeth. So the tops of their teeth are slightly curved because one of the things that they like to eat are sea turtles. So these curved teeth allow them to chomp right through a sea turtle shell without the tip of the tooth breaking off. Now the bottoms of their teeth are something that we call fork teeth. So these teeth are long and pointy, just like the tines on a fork. So these are used to hold their food and prey in place. Now if they get a hold of something that's too big to eat in one giant bite, they can shake their heads back and forth. And the serrations on the top teeth work just like a steak knife to cut through their meal. And then the fork teeth help hold it in place. So they have forks and knives right in their mouths. Now, this is from a really big shark. Now, this slightly smaller jaw that I have down here, this is from the same kind of sharks that we have here at the Science Center. And this one is from a sandbar shark. Now, this is from a specimen that was approximately six feet long. Now, you can see the difference in those top teeth. Their top teeth are kind of straight, even though they are still triangular, and they're also serrated, just like a steak knife. So, when this shark goes after something like a stingray, which is soft bodied, those pointy teeth are good for cutting out that big chunk. Now I wanna show you the back of this jaw because the back is also fascinating. If I flip this around, one of the things that you'll get to see are the many, many, many different teeth that are right inside. So sharks have multiple rows of teeth. Shark skeletons are made out of soft, flexible cartilage, whereas our skeletons are made out of hard bone. So their teeth don't have long rooted anchors into their jaws like ours do. So anytime a tooth gets damaged or dull, it just pops right out of their mouth and a new one will flip forward and take its place. So sharks are constantly shedding teeth and sharks can shed as many as 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. This shark jaw, one of the things that you will notice is that there are no sharp teeth on this one. I can run my finger right along the edge and not have to worry about getting my fingers cut. This is from something called a smooth dogfish. And even though fish is in the name, it is actually a type of shark. So this shark is gonna eat different things. It is going to eat things with a hard shell. It's gonna eat things like snails and little tiny crabs. All right, now I have three different teeth here to show you because sharks have been around for a really, really long time. Now these two right here, these really big ones, these are from megalodons. Now mega meaning big and don meaning tooth. So megalodon means big tooth. Now this one is an actual fossil that was found right off of our North Carolina coast. You can see it even still has a little bit of that bedrock sediment that's attached to it. And they are kind of triangular and serrated, very similar to this tooth. This is a replica of a great white shark's tooth. So again, triangular and serrated, so that makes them really good at chomping through things like seals and sea lions. Now, just for a little bit more size comparison, I wanna show you these two tiny little teeth glued onto the back of this megalodon tooth. Now, this is from one of our sandbar sharks, and the sh shark that this came from is six feet long. This shark, is approximately three to four feet long. So just imagine how big this megalodon must have been to have had a tooth that is nearly five inches long. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me here at Shark Reef at the Greensboro Science Center. And remember, we are not on a shark's menu.